So let's get going. A bit of oil in our pan, veloche of olive oil, and I'm going to start preparing our ingredients. Now, these banana shallots, you could just use a nice, a regular onion, but the flavour's slightly milder, so I'm just going to slice it straight down the middle. I'm just going to slice across. Okay. Now, next up is the garlic. I'm going to give it a quick squash and then a rough chop. That's going to do. Next, our golden beetroot. Now, you don't see them all that often, but they're in the market today. Later season than traditional beetroot, but a very similar flavour. So I'm just going to nip the ends off and just peel it with my knife. And then, because we're going to add peas, I'm going to go for sort of pea-sized pieces, I suppose. It's a little, not so golden inside, but a still a bit of nice pale yellow colour. In go my vegetables. Now, there's not a lot of oil in there, but I'm going to be putting my lovely smoky pancetta in. The fat's going to add to the oil in the pan. So, let's get going with that. Now, I'm very excited about this. I'm going to go for four slices. So, I'm just going to chop this quite roughly. Let's get that in. So, now for my rosemary. So, just pull the sprigs off, give it a little light chop. And that's going to go into the pan with the vegetables and the pancetta. I've got some nice colour going on in my pan and it's time to add the rice. I'm going to tip it in and just turn it around so it coats in the oil in the pan. Good stir around. And I'm just going to add now a glass of dry white wine. In it goes. Let it bubble away a bit. It's going to take a couple of minutes now just to bubble and soften down. The wine's evaporated and it's starting to look quite creamy if you look in there. So I'm going to add my stock. Now I've just got straight forward vegetable stock. It looks like loads but don't worry. Give it a good stir and uh, you need to pop the lid on so you've got this sort of, you contain the heat but you're also leaving it some space to evaporate. So that needs about 30 minutes, half an hour so that it really cooks down and while that's taking place I'm going to pop off, have a look around the market. So my soup has been bubbling very nicely for about half an hour. So I've got these fresh peas, I've shelled them myself, into the pan for about three or four minutes. The flavours in here are quite savoury with the stock and the pancetta. And so to give it a little bit of zing, a little bit of lemon. Now just using quite a fine grater, so in that goes. Split it and give it a quick squeeze. Now because of the stock, I've not added any salt and we're going to be putting the feta in as well. So again, very salty, black pepper. Okay, so I'm ready to serve it up. My bowl, a big ladle. And to finish it off, my favourite ingredient really of this whole dish is this fantastic feta. I'm just going to cut a chunk off. I'm going to just crumble it on top and a bit of uh, mint. So there we are then, easy and yummy. It's my risotto soup with pea, mint and feta.